Hey guys, JT from Epic Horror Fans here, bringing you yet another horror movie of the week. This week's movie, Candyman, starring Tony Todd and Virginia Madsen. Now, Candyman is a great horror movie. It came out in the early 90s. It's directed by Bernard Rose, music by Philip Glass, and it's from the short story. It's actually based on the short story, The Forbidden, by Clive Barker. So it's Clive Barker. So you know it's either going to be really good or it's going to be you know, iffy. But this one, thankfully, is really good. Um, the Candyman is basically, I'm reading the back here. A children's ghost story comes to terrifying life in this gut-wrenching thriller about a graduate student whose research into modern folklore summons the spirit of the dead. Helen Lyle, played by Virginia Madsen, scoffs at superstition. But when she hears about Candyman, Tony Todd, a slave spirit with a hook hand said to haunt a notorious housing project. She has a new twist for her thesis to prove Candyman doesn't exist. Helen heads to the site of the Baruta Water to call for him by saying his name five times. To her horror, he appears, igniting a string of gruesome slayings, but the police don't believe in monsters and Helen is charged with the grisly crimes. Only one person can set her free, Candyman. So basically, uh, by that explanation, uh, there's this girl, Helen. She works at a university with a... Uh, and she goes with her friend, uh, played by Xander Berkeley, I think. Um, yeah, whatever her name is. Um, she goes with her friend. They go to this uh, housing projects, the projects, I should say, in the Chicago, in Chicago, yeah, in Chicago, which is basically the ghetto. And they try and see, like, all these murders are being blamed on the Candyman. So basically, they go there to prove that it's not the Candyman, it's just some guy with a hook on his hand and what they do is she gets beaten up pretty badly a little kid saves her I know it's a little weird thing and then um they arrest the suspect and they believe he's the candy man committing all the crimes everything seems good but then uh the real candy man shows up because she said his name in the mirror five times and he wanted to prove that he's there and he's got the power now the candy man is played by Tony Todd and he does a very good job. He has that voice. It's really creepy. He goes, I came for you. It's just really deep and cool. I wish my voice was that cool. But sadly, you're stuck with this annoying, Hi, guys. It's me, Sean. <laughs> well, anyways, um, that's pretty good. Uh, the music by Philip Glass is very good. Especially, it was Bernard Rose's directing style is really good. Um, the DVD, it comes with a few... Uh, Candyman featurettes, which is pretty cool. I mean, I'm hoping for the Blu-ray to come out soon, because Candyman on blue, it seems like a logical choice. This is better than... This really is, like, the best slasher movie. They, they consider it psychological throw, because slasher would be like, oh, it's too good to be a slasher. But, you know, it's still got a body count and all the sorts of things. Uh, it's more of a psychological thriller horror movie. I don't know what you can call it, but Candyman is pretty good. It was followed by two sequels, Candyman 2, Farewells to the Flesh, I believe, and Candyman 3, Day of the Dead. Now, I saw Candyman 2, and I didn't really like it. I thought it was pretty bad. And Candyman 3, I never got to see, because I haven't found a place where I can see it. But um, I really enjoyed the first movie. I think it's great. Candyman, he's an awesome slasher villain, without a doubt. He's one of the best. He's the only black guy who's really a slasher guy. I mean, people say that's racist, but who cares? He's the best. So, um, yeah, Candyman's really good. Clive Barker, he said he wants to get the rights to this and uh, Hellraiser back so he can make a crossover movie where Candyman fights Pinhead. Now, to me personally, that would be awesome because we don't get that many, like, versus movies. We got Freddy vs. Jason, we got Alien vs. Predator, and you got Pulp Master vs. Demonic Toys. You really don't get anything, and I don't get why. Because, when you think about it, seeing two characters come together, it would make a killing. It would make a lot of money. Like, I'm not sure about the Pinhead vs. Candyman would make a lot, but I'm sure it would make more than any of the other Candyman movies, or more than, like, the other Hellraiser movies. Because if you put, like, a Hellraiser movie in theaters and market it pretty well with these two characters fighting each other, that would be... I, I'd go see it. I mean, I've seen all the Hellraiser movies. And some of you might know from my channel. I'm still working on those. But in all honesty, um, Candyman, it's very good. I highly recommend it. Uh, Tony Todd said they're going to work on a fourth movie soon, which I'm not sure about. But, you know, we'll see soon. So, anyways, <clears throat> please subscribe to our channel. It's me, JT is Reborn, uh, Sexy Danny 21 Awesome, AG Punk 15, Inspired Jack Angel. 
For Epic Horror Fans, this is JT Reborn saying goodbye, recommending Candyman as this week's horror movie of the week. Thank you guys. Uh, watch Candyman. Have an awesome night.